George Iceman Gervin was one of the best scorers in basketball history. He was a guy that would put up 40 without even breaking a sweat. But that wasn't actually why he got his ice cold nickname. It was because of his fashion style. Gervin was born in Detroit. He went to Martin Luther King Jr. High School, but didn't become a special player until his senior year. He then averaged 31 points and 20 rebounds and led his school to the state quarterfinals. He was named the Detroit Free Press All-State Selection. At Eastern Michigan University, Gervin averaged 29.5 points as a sophomore during the 1971-72 season. The Virginia Squires ended up signing him to an ABA contract. After his fruitful stint with the Squires, he was sold to the San Antonio Spurs. When the ABA and NBA merged, Gervin was still tearing it up. At 6'7", Iceman was a versatile scorer, famously known for his flick of the wrist when going to the hoop. There was only one time during his NBA career where he didn't average 20 or more points. In his final year in the NBA, 33-year-old George Gervin joined the Chicago Bulls team that was ready to give the keys of their franchise to a rising star named Michael Jordan. However, the veteran guard was well aware that he was just an alternative for MJ who was injured at the time the Bulls signed him. Nevertheless, Gervin didn't fail to deliver in his debut season with the Bulls, having played all 82 games with an impressive average of 16.2 points per game. Simply put, Iceman was a commendable player, but for some reason, he didn't manage to leave a mark on Chicago and left the following season as if nothing happened. In fact, nowadays, not all are even aware that he was once a Bull. Gervin is a four-time scoring champion and can without a doubt identify a great player when he sees one. While many have hailed Jordan as the GOAT, Gervin begs to disagree. According to Iceman, figuring out the greatest of all time depends on the criteria you are using. Gervin puts MJ up there alongside the late Kobe Bryant as far as scoring goes. However, he's confident he was a far more efficient scorer as he didn't miss too many shots in his career. I'd say, hey now, what criteria are we using? Gervin told the post game when asked who the greatest player of all time is. That's the only thing I can say. Jordan's one of the greatest entertainers, one of the greatest winners. He could flat out play. His stats proved themselves, but he couldn't score like ice. He had his own way of scoring, he continued. He didn't score like me. I didn't score as many points as he did, but I didn't shoot as much as he did. Mike and Kobe shot more times than anyone in the history of basketball, so that means they missed a lot. Still, Gervin acknowledges one modern superstar whose game is similar to his. KD, man, he scored differently than me, but as far as putting it through the hole, he's just as effective. Once he gained that in-between game, he was even more effective. He's just an unbelievable player, one of the top in the league, said Gervin on the Knuckleheads podcast. Undeniably, Gervin was a proficient all-round scorer during his playing years, but stats don't seem to back up his claim. Based on the comparison of his and Jordan's career field goal totals, MJ was the more efficient scorer, though by just a very slim margin. According to the stats, Jordan shot better than Gervin by two tenths, registering a career field goal percentage of 50.9, beating Isis 50.7. The same goes with the pair's two-point field goal totals as his airness tops Gervin 51 to 50.9. Indeed, this debate could go on for years no matter what metric we use as fans have different ideas of a great scorer. One thing is certain though, which is that both Jordan and Gervin will always top the list of the best natural scorers in NBA history.